before you go and exchange the inductor in your Dunlop Crybaby for a red phasal, you need to watch this video. A long while has passed since I did this to my own Crybaby, but in the end it was really just a waste of time and money. I didn't hear any difference between the two, to be honest, and my tests have confirmed this. In this video, I'm going to compare the red phasal to the Dunlop inductor, a yellow phasal, and a general purpose inductor that is made for audio purposes. This is not going to be a video where I have the three different wah pedals so you can hear the differences, but rather it will be using an oscilloscope, a signal generator, and a curve tracer that I made. You will easily be able to see that the Dunlop and Red Phasal are virtually identical in terms of the frequency response. So here's our inductors. We got the Dunlop current production inductor. I got the Red Phasal Repro. I have a yellow Phasal and a Mitsumi inductor that I pull out of a old uh, Radio Shack Graphic EQ. It measures 600 millihenries, which is essentially what this red phasal measures and the the construction of these these are all the same thing these are all cup and core type of inductors which means there's a this one's a broken one here that i have it means there's a little ferrite cup that surrounds a coil of wire on the inside and in the case of the phasal they just stick a little cover on the outside to make it look prettier. Uh, I have a picture of one in an original Voxwa pedal where the cover had fallen off and uh, before I glued it back on I took a picture of it which I'll show you now. So this is my testing setup. I'm going to feed my inductors uh, signal from this old uh, function generator. Um, I got a frequency counter so I can see what the frequency is. I'm doing everything analog, old school here today. This is a little A-B test switch that I made so that I can go between the two different kinds of inductors that I want to compare. This is my um, oscilloscope based curve tracer. And then I'm going to look at the signals going through these inductors on my old Tektronix 453 oscilloscope from 1969. I'm going to be using this one because it has a chop mode which will enable me to give us a reference to ground during these tests. I'm going to show you some Lisa Zhu patterns now with the oscilloscope in XY mode. First I'm going to show you what the inductor looks like that's designed for audio use. The Mitsumi 600 millihenry inductor. As you can see, it's a nice even ellipse. It stays an ellipse throughout the frequency range. So we're going all the way up to one kilohertz here. It remains an ellipse. We take it back down to 35 hertz, which I know is below what a guitar can really do, but that's where I'm going to start. So now I'm going to switch over to the red phasal. So we get this interesting bow tie shape there with the red phasal. And what we're seeing is basically an asymmetrical waveform. We switch this over to a regular mode. You can see we got like this asymmetrical waveform. So that's what we're seeing there. So let's take this up through the frequency range. Now I'm gonna to go to 110 Hertz there we get that kind of a shape and so on and we go all the way up to one kilohertz it gets a little more like an ellipse okay so I'm gonna take this back down to 35 Hertz once more and now I'm going to switch on the Dunlop inductor Hmm, doesn't look much different, does it? So there's red phasal, Dunlop. Red phasal, Dunlop. So, let's go back to red phasal. I'm gonna take it up to 200 hertz. So there's the red phasal, Dunlop. 
Red Basil Dunlop. Still looks the same. So let's take it up to 330 hertz, which is basically the open bottom E string. So that's Red Basil Dunlop. Red Basil Dunlop. Still looks pretty much the same, doesn't it? Okay, so here's 500 hertz. Red Basil Dunlop. Red Basil Dunlop. Okay, so let's take it up to one kilohertz. So that's the Red Basil, that's the Dunlop. Red Basil Dunlop. As you can see, they're almost identical. I have a hard time seeing any difference whatsoever between the two. Okay, so now let's take a look at the Red Basil versus the Yellow Basil. Um, this is the red phasal. We're looking at 30 hertz right here. I'm going to switch to the yellow phasal now. And now you can see it looks kind of like a balloon. So what we're, what we're seeing there is it's a little bit less of an asymmetrical waveform. So that would be our yellow phasal versus the red phasal. There's a little more harmonics going on with the red basil there. So that's what we're looking at there. Now let's switch back to the red basil. We'll go up to 200 hertz. So there's red basil, yellow basil. So you can see they're definitely different and, and they do sound different from each other. You could say that yes, I hear a difference between the red and yellow basil. I can't really say that for the Dunlop and the red basil, however. So let's go up to 330 hertz. That's red phasal, yellow phasal. You can see it's starting to now really attenuate the higher frequencies. So if we go back to the regular waveform, you can see how there's the, the red phasal, we go to the yellow phasal. You can see that the amplitude of the signal at 330 hertz is considerably less. So you will hear a difference. It'll, be, it'll sound less cutting, I guess you could say. Okay, so, and we'll just keep comparing all the way up to one kilohertz here. Now we'll go up to 500 hertz. This is red phasal, yellow phasal. Red phasal, yellow phasal. And we'll just take it up to one kilohertz. So there is red phasal, yellow phasal. This is where they're really different is in the one kilohertz range, you can see that the yellow phasal is really knocking down the higher frequencies as opposed to the red phasal here. So what conclusions can we draw from this? Well, in my opinion, either phasal makes these inductors for Dunlop or Dunlop took a classic red phasal, reverse engineered it, and totally nailed it. Whatever the case, if you're thinking about taking the stock inductor out of your crybaby and putting a red phasal in it because it's going to sound better, don't waste your time and money because they're basically exactly the same thing.